One of the things you may notice about a matrix is it's next to impossible to type on the discussion board. So one thing I would encourage you to do is to go ahead and type your discussion work in Microsoft Word and then you can attach it to the discussion board. There's no need to beat your head over the formatting here. We can all open attachments, especially if it's a Microsoft Word document. What you see here is Microsoft Word 2010 and that's what we're going to look at because it is the newest, the latest, and the greatest and what happens to be on my machine in terms of inserting a matrix. So let's say I want to insert a matrix. I'm going to go up to the Insert tab and over to Equation. Now I do want to type on the little pie symbol or I want to click on the little pie symbol above. I do not want to click on the word equation. That inserts common mathematical equations and we don't, we don't really have a common one we want to work with. Now many times our matrices or our ma um, matrix, if it's single or plural, is put in a bracket. So I'm going to go ahead and do the bracket first. In the bracket portion, I'm going to add the um, second option over a pair of brackets. Now I do need to click inside and I'll go up and choose a matrix. So what I'm going to do is I can choose um, a matrix such as a 3x3 three three matrix and I'll go ahead and type in the numbers that I would like to um, to place in. I'm just going to make numbers up. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You get the idea. happens if you want to type a matrix larger than a 3x3 three three matrix? You'll notice that was the kind of the large size and unfortunately um, Microsoft 2010 doesn't have quite as many options for matrix creation. But what you can do to kind of get around this is if I want to put in for example a 3x3 three three and then a, a vector after that or essentially what will become a 3x4 three matrix, three rows, four columns, I can put in the 3x3 three three matrix I could kind of type a space bar or two, and then I can put in my um, column after that. So now I have a 3x4 three by, uh, three by matrix, and you could do the same thing. We can build these up um, kind of piece by piece. You do have to start to think about um, what, you know, what's your final dimension going to be, and essentially how can you build that up based on what you have available to you. So I might add in some... Um, Columns. You can also, um, after you have created this, you can also go ahead and highlight the whole thing and then put it in the brackets. So I can then put it in the brackets after I'm done just by highlighting the whole thing. And that's kind of a workaround to, um, to get you to a larger matrix. Now, if you're interested in um, building larger matrices, especially since it has a... Um, Especially since this is a little bit difficult, especially if you're dealing with multiple rows, we can actually use the old-fashioned Microsoft Equation Editor. This is just a little bit harder to get to, but it's much more user-friendly in terms of building a matrix. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go up to Insert, only instead of an, of an equation, I'm going to choose an object here. So I'm going to click on the word Object, and what I want to choose is Microsoft Equation 3.0. And this actually inserts an object object into your document. So it's the kind of the old way that they used to do this before they had the equation shortcut. And from here what you could choose is you could choose the matrix box here. And what I want to look at is this very, I know that this is a little bit smaller, the very lower, um, very lower um, right hand corner box. I'll click on that. It's got the dots in between the rows and the columns. This gives me a matrix builder where you can enter in however many rows and however many columns you want. So if you want a 2 by 6, we enter in a 2 by 6. And then we can go ahead and say OK. And then you can fill the values in. yourself and we will
want to save the equations in the document. So that'll allow you to put in the matrix of your choosing. And I should have should have put that in brackets. So I'll go ahead, you can edit it just by double clicking. I'll go ahead, highlight that, and stick that in some brackets. So it is, um, is it looks like it's supposed to look. So that's one of the couple ways you can type matrices in Word 2010. Also, please feel free to use a paint or similar program as long as you save things in a file format that can easily be opened by the majority of your students and fellow classmates. Have a great week on the discussion board. I'll see you over there.